One point of difference at the tip of the top of the table over in La Liga now, of course, after Barcelona make up some ground on leaders Real Madrid. But who's going to actually be leading this coming weekend? We're going to take a look at it, all of it, uh, next. That's right, folks. Bob's getting a prediction video today before match number 13 over in Spain. That's right, aka La Liga. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe button, bang it. All things La Liga related, Blabber Rovers related, World Cup related. Very, very soon. That's right, right here at Blabber Rovers sees. Of course, it's now just one point between Real Madrid, who are top, and of course, Barcelona, who are second, of course, with, of course, the third place team a long, long way away. We're talking about seven, eight points, of course, adrift from uh, second spot Barcelona. But of course, we'll take a look at it, all of it. In a second, of course, people shout out to my VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. And, of course, if you are a fan of any of the nations that take part in this year's World Cup, whether it's Spain, Portugal, France, of course, let me know down below. I'm trying to get some uh, supporters and voices of opinion from these nations for the World Cup. And, of course, I want to uh, I want to get to know you beforehand. So, please, let me know in the comment section. We'll get go, get the party started. Have a quick Zoom, uh, know each other. And, of course, then you can be part of the backbone here. For some ex uh, ex amazing content connector for the World Cup. Anyway, let's get into it and have a little look at La Liga, though. We're talking about La, La Liga now. We'll recap the results this past weekend. So, my picks on the left, the real deals on the right. So, here we go, then. Kicking off all with a Mallorca. Uh, they drew with Espanyol. Got that one bang on the nose. While we are doing that, I'll get the super brew fired up. Because you know what it's... What the heck's going on here? Super brew. Super brew. We want some super brew. There we go. Let's fire it up. So not too shabby there. Uh, not bad start. Uh, Almira, 3-1 win over Celta Vigo. Big win for them. I'm with a 0-0 draw. After let's go lost to bloody Cadiz. 3-2 in the end. I'm with a 2-0. Sevilla also lost to Valicano. I've, I've, there's no point looking at the super brew now. 1-0 lost to Valicano. Absolute shambles there. Uh, Barcelona, though, 1-0 uh, winners of Valencia. I'm with a 3-1. Uh, Osasuna, 2-0 winners of Valladolid. I'm with a 1-0. Real Madrid drew with Girona. A bit of a shit show there. Bill Bauer pick up a win over Villarreal. 2-1 was my pick. 1-0 was the real deal. 2-0 uh, in Venice over Sociedad. A bit of a shambles as well for my team. And then Elche did lose to Getafe. Uh, I think that was just yesterday. Of course. So take a look at course, the table. Table looks like this. Real Madrid are leading. They are on 32 points right now. As, of course, Barcelona 31. Uh, draw or more for, for Barcelona. Could see them go top of the tier. Uh, Atletico Madrid are in third. Betis are in fourth. Sociedad and then Bill Bauer. Look at uh, Osasuna up there in seventh. Uh, of course, going down right now, El Che is and Sevilla. Uh, of course, Sevilla, what is going on? I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm curious to see. There are some strugglers across Europe. We've got Leverkusen in the Bundesliga. We've got uh, Sevilla here. We've got two else is struggling That's, uh, that you wouldn't. Uh, Sampdoria as well, a little bit. Uh, potentially. Anyways, take a look at the Super Brew. Uh, I don't really want to now because I, I thought I was going to be doing it. From that first one, I thought I was going to be doing it all right. But here it comes in all its glory. Let's fire it down there. Oh, I'm still hanging on in there. Still hanging on in there. I don't think I had a good week. Uh, but anyway, actually got seven points, which is in the top end of it. But Russell with 11 there. Mexico sniper up there with 10.5. The Beast, Oxley, Wembley, Maca doing it. Okay, then it's me. Barcelona needs to be 6.5. And then the chase back. If you see a name in there, guess what? While you're here, take a minute, take a bloody minute. And of course, hit the old thumbs up button, boys. Hit the old thumbs up. Do us a favor. Let's try and get the numbers up there with the old likey likeys. Do us a favor over there. Back over to the table we go. Uh, the wooden spoon goes out of Kevin with just one point. That's bad. Can we actually look at his, his one pointer? Can we have a look? Uh, he's in Greece, is old Kevin. Oh, that's a, a way to find you. Yes, that's a way to stalk you guys. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at the leaderboard. I'm a non mover. Looks like in fourth spot. No move. Uh, just four points from top, guys. I'm coming for you, Costas K. It is that tight. Maka up one spot uh, to number five. Barcelona needs to down, of course. Uh, Hansworth down three spots as well. Wembley up three. Oh, my Mexican seven up four. Uh, of course, some movers up and down the uh, table. You can get involved in this. It's still free to enter. Cut the force spade picks. Uh, of course, get your name in light. See if you can compete with the big boys like me. Top five in the in the La Liga. And we're going to make it a top three next week. We're going to go for it. Uh, of course, when we go for it, we're going to go for it for, via these games right here. Kick it all off on a Friday uh, with Girona taking on Bill Bow. That's right. Coming out on 4th of November. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Of course, here we go then. Of course, played each other according to my eyes. Four times 2017. One for Girona. Three for Bill Bow. Zero. Draws Girona though without a win in the last seven games. 25% form for them over the last six. As for Bilbao, 50% form for them right now. 1 2 lost to and drawn to. Uh, meanwhile, 
The last stop pitcher over Inter Rhodos, a two win for Bill Barr back in March 2019. Uh, Bill Barr back to back wins for them, only just one loss of the last four uh, in in, uh, in La Liga action. Girona, though, picking up a monster draw against Real Madrid. In fact, back to back draws for them. Bill Barr with a big one day win over Villarreal, of course. But the odds here, we have 11 to 4 is your Bill uh, Girona, 5 to 2 is Girona, 11 to 10 on is your Bill Bauer here, of course. So the Wayside are favoured on this. I'm going to give it to him as well. 2 1 win for Bill Bauer on this one. Moving forward, we've got Getafe up against Cadiz. That's going to match on Saturday, November the 5th. Uh, of course, now these two sides are pitching 10 times turn three, five wins at Getafe, four for Cadiz, one draw at the moment. Getafe, though, unbeaten in the last four, 40 percent four for them. Uh, however, just one win in six, if you want to look at it a different way. They're drawing a lot of games, but not as many as Cadiz, who come into this on 50 percent four, one one loss when I'm drawing four over the last six games, of course. Last time around, over in uh, Getafe, it was a 4 0 win for Getafe back in November 2021. Uh, Getafe, they're picking up a 1 0 win over El Che, uh, Cadiz, over the big 3 2 win over Atletico. Monster result for them. Heading into this last time around, though, to, uh, actually, uh, uh, odds here. 11 to 10 on is Jukatafe, 9 to 4 is draw, 16 to 5 is the away win here. Back in, of course, another draw. They are the draw specialists between the two sides, so I'm expecting another one here, 1-1 one, one in the end, over in Getafe. Meanwhile, Valdarida against Elche, let's take a look at it then, uh, of course, this coming Saturday, the 5th of November, played each other 23 times, the 3rd and 5, 9 wins for Valdarida, 5 wins for Elche, 9 draws, of course. Valdarida, 58% form for them, around winning 3 of the last 6, so because the Elche side, went one in the last 12 games, 25% form for them, and then as they are, of course, rooted to the foot of the table. Uh, meanwhile, last round, over in Valdarida, it was a 2-2 draw, back in January 2021, that was, of course, in La Liga, uh, it was actually back-to-back -back draws between two sides, both home and away. Valdoli, though losing to Osasuna, of course, heading into this. Elche with a one and loss against Catafe. That is right. But the odds right here, right now, we've got a Valdoli 65 on for the Richie 35 inch draw. 65 inch away win. Valdoli are doing all right in 11th spot, and I think they'll win this one as well. Two and win for the hosts on this one. Next up, of course, Celta Vigo up against Osasuna. We're flying high. Celta Vigo flying low right now. Played 26 times in 1994. 14 wins for the hosts. Six of the visitors and six draws, of course. Celta Vigo, though, without a win in five. 25% four for them right now. Osasuna, though, unbeaten in the last three. 50% form for them over the last six. That's one, two, lost two, and drawn two, of course. Last time around, though, in Celta Vigo. Two to win it was for the host back in January 2022. The away side hasn't won this game since Celta Vigo. It also soon back in 2014. It's a long, long time, guys. Celta Vigo, though, picking up a 2 0. Uh, it's actually 3 1 loss to Almira. So, uh, also though, with a big 2 0 win of Valdari. The odds here, even Stevens, who's Celta Vigo 23 10, is a draw. 11 4 is the away win on this one. Back in, of course, a 1 0 win for Celta Vigo. They need it, and that win could actually put them above Valdari into 11th spot. Meanwhile, Buffalo. Uh, of course, up against Almira, of course, who are doing all right, considering. Played each other 14 times, turn 7, 12 wins for Barcelona. Nothing for Almira, two draws, of course. Barcelona, 58% form for them right now, winning three of the last six. And we get Almira side, 50% form for them now, winning three and lost three over the last six. Last time around, though, over in uh, the Camp Nou, was a 4 0 win for Barcelona back in April 2015. Now, of course, that was in La Liga. And, of course, they've won six on the bounce, of course, against Almira. Almira, though, did 3 1 winners over Sola Vigo. Barcelona with a 1 0 win over Valencia. They are taking on Pinson, Victoria Pinson this week uh, uh, in the Champions Lagos. The Eds are also here 10-1 on is your Barcelona. 8-9-1 is your draw. 18-1 is your long shots. We are going Barcelona. 3 nil away. Clean sheet as well. And of course making some moves and maybe even they actually could. They actually will be top of the table with that result. Uh, into Sunday's games now. We go Atletico Madrid up against Espanyol. Now these two sides have pitched 53 times in 1995. 23 wins for Atletico. 17 wins for Espanyol. 13 draws. Atletico though. 1, uh, we, uh, one defeat past 6. 58% form for them right now. Up against the Espanyol side. 50% form for them. 1-1 one, one, lost one and drawn four. Last time around, they're over in uh, Atletico. It was a 2-1 win for Madrid back in um, uh, April 2022. Let's go unbeaten against uh, Espanyol over the last four. Pick up three wins and a draw. Espanyol, though, a drawing to Mallorca. Back to back draws for them. In fact, Atletico with a 3 2 loss against Cadiz. Uh, of course, they are in action against Porto as well. They are not uh, going through to the knockouts as well. Uh, but looking at the odds, we have Atletico 29 on for the Richie. 60 to 5 is your draw. 6 to 1 is your long shots. That's Espanyol. Back in the host here. 2 0 for them uh, as they try to keep themselves in the Champions League spots. Real Sociedad up against Valencia, of course. Now these two sides have played each other 52 times in 15 wins for Sociedad, 25 wins for Valencia, 17 draws, of course. Sociedad uh, are coming into this on 67% form, which is winning four of the last six. Up against the Valencia side, just one win is six, 42% form for them at the moment. Last time around, uh, it was a, a near, uh, two 0-0 draw back in Sociedad back in November 2021. In fact, three the last three matches between the two sides have all ended up as a draw. Uh, Sociedad uh, uh, coming into this on the back of a 2-0 loss to Betis. Uh, Valencia with a 1-0 loss to Barcelona, of course. Both of those were home uh, defeats. 
defeats uh, for both Sociedad and Valencia. Of course, coming at you, though, the odds here, 2017 on, is just Sociedad now 5-2, to sure, 10-3 is your away win. We are back in Sociedad to bounce back here, 2-1 win for them, maybe even squeeze into the top four, depending on what goes on elsewhere. Villarreal, uh, good evening, good evening, up against Mallorca, of course, played each other 32 times in 1997, 14 wins for Villarreal, 9 wins for Mallorca, and 9 draws. Villarreal, though, 58% for them, right now winning three of the last six, up against Mallorca side, just one win in six, of course, as they uh, look to... Uh, uh, revenge the 3 0 defeat last time back in January 2022. Uh, Villarreal, though, 1-0 lost to Bilbao. Mallorca with a big 1-1 draw against Espanyol. Uh, of course, the odds here, we have Villarreal 13-8 on for the victory. 11-4 is the draw, 9-2 is the away win. Which way do we go? We're going to go with Villarreal to get a draw here. 1-1 in the end. Uh, they are currently in 8th. Uh, of course, new manager and all that kind of jazz. We'll see how they cope with that one. Real Benes against Sevilla, of course, a bit of a zinger here. Uh, of course, uh, Sevilla struggling. Benes, of course, doing a okay. Pleasure 53 times in 1985. 11 wins for Betis, 25 wins for Sevilla. 17 draws, of course. Benes, though, 16 percent for them. Right now, one defeat past six up against the uh, Sevilla side. Uh, one win in four for them. 50% for one, two, lost two, and drawn two, of course. Uh, last time I played each other in the league over in uh, Betis, it was a 2 0 win for Sevilla back in November 2021. Uh, Sevilla, though, one who lost to Vallecano. Uh, Benison with a big 2 win over Sociedad. Both other teams are in action in Europe. Sevilla taking on City. Uh, Real Betis taking on HJK. But the odds for this, we have Real Betis 23-20 for the victory. 23-10 to draw. 12-5 is your away win. Back in Benis here with the 2-1 win for Sevilla. Sevilla are in trouble. They're in the relegation zone. They need a little bit of lady luck at the moment. Meanwhile, Vallecano will take on Madrid on the last game of this match day, which is a Monday. Uh, 28 times these two sides have played each other. Since 93, 33 wins for Vallecano. 24 wins for Real Madrid. And we've got one draw. Vallecano, they're just one defeat past six, 67 percent form for them right now. Real Madrid, back to back games now without a win. 67 percent form for them over the last six as well. Last time around, though, Owen Vallecano was a one win for Real Madrid back in February 2022. Madrid, though, picking up a draw against Girona most recently. Vallecano with a big one win over Sevilla most recently as well. But the odds right here right now on a Monday night, 90 to 4 is your Vallecano, 65 is your draw, 20 to 11 on is your Real Madrid, of course. Can Madrid bounce back? Yes, they can. 2 0 win in the end. Let's uh, back that up. But if I'm right, this is what the table will look like. Uh, of course, Real Madrid will be back top of the table with 35 points. Barcelona in second, then Madrid as Atletico, and of course, Real Betis. Of course, it's a double match week next week with, of course, action coming at you on the uh, Tuesday, the November the 8th. So we may drop a video uh, on Sunday or very early Monday uh, for that. So make sure you come back for that. And of course, get your picks in here. Cut your four Spain picks. It is free to enter. But until then, guys and girls, that's all I've got for you. Make sure you smash your subscribe, smash your thumbs up, smash the little bell. We go again, double match week next week, and of course, all that kind of stuff. And again, if you are a Spanish football, Football expert, whether it's uh, national, well, for the national team, let me know in the comment section. I'm looking for uh, voices and opinions just like you. But until then, guys and girls, we'll see you soon.